it is Jen Eden here. I am the founder of the Sugar Freedom Method. I get asked a lot, you mentioned this method a lot, Jen, like what is it? And so if you don't know what it is and you're just finding me now, um, there's a link to my masterclass on the exact five steps to learn how to kick and manage sugar addiction, sugar cravings, wine, chocolate. So please feel free to check it out. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I always just say quickly, I would love it if you subscribed, if you find what I talk about valuable. Okay, so talking about value, I get asked this more times than I care to talk about, and that is, hey Jen, what's the best sugar to eat? How's stevia? How's these sugar al alcohols, maltitol and sorbitol and erythritol? And how's honey? What about brown sugar or coconut sugar? Yeah? Cane sugar, we know, right? Cane sugar to me is the devil, <laughs> right? That is just sugar, also known as turbinado sugar, also known as brown sugar, sugar in the raw, okay? That stuff is sugar. Now, the thing with um, a coconut sugar or there's just a hundred plus names for sugar. You're welcome to look them up. So I take a deep breath because sugar is sugar in the body. Okay, sugar is sugar. It's gonna inflame you. It's gonna spike your, spike your blood sugar levels. The thing is, I find different sugars affect people different. And just to say it now, sugar alcohols absolutely affect people's digestive system. I don't care if it's great for diabetics. Women who come see us for the Sugar Freedom Method, as well as myself and, and women who have sugar issues, Sugar alcohols are not, a, are not a good replacement. They inflame, they irritate the digestive system, and yes, they can cause cravings. So I don't care if they don't register as calories and diabetics can have it. I find we're not getting to the real imbalances in the body, and the sugar alcohols are just a Band-Aid, if that. Now, we're gonna talk about artificial sweeteners. I don't even wanna talk about artificial sweeteners. They are absolutely toxic. They should not be ingested on a regular basis or as far as I'm concerned at all. Okay, anything artificial in the sodas and all these um, diet sodas and, and zero this and sucralose. So it's hell to the no on those. Again, I do not care if they don't register um, for blood sugar levels. They absolutely register in the body and cause inflammation. Now the things I'm always like, oh, how do I talk about, you know, maple syrup or honey? Um, I already talked about stevia. Okay, stevia is similar to me, to these um, sugar alcohols, okay? Um, it bothers a lot of people. It kind of tastes good on the palate, but they'll say they still have cravings later. It's because the stuff really doesn't work. So just know that that is to be true for many, many women I know. Now the thing about honey is, oh, honey, honey and maple syrup. So I do give honey maple syrup to my kids. It's real maple syrup. They put it on their waffles. It's super sweet. It's natural, right? Comes from a maple tree. It's still sugar. For me, it is less addictive for me. So I will make my favorite black bean brownies with maple syrup. It's less addictive. That's not the case for everyone. So I want you to keep that in mind. The other one that I do love is raw honey. I will buy raw honey. I will buy it in a glass jar. I will have just a little bit on occasion if I want it with my tea. Um, for my kids, when you are not feeling well, hot water with lemon and honey is a saving grace and a blessing. Yes, yeah? so there are some benefits. I have baked with honey as well as maple syrup. For me, it doesn't feel addictive. And so they're better versions. Are they still sugar? Yes. Could they cause weight gain? Yes. Can they inflame you? Yes. Do they seem to inflame me? No. So I just need you to keep that in mind that you can test it. Now, the thing about coconut sugar, it's also still a sugar. However, for me and for women, I find it can be less addictive. Yes, I have a cereal I love. And it's got coconut sugar and I think it's got cassava flour or, or sunflower protein. And it's got a little maple syrup and or I think it's got coconut sugar. And it's not addictive. Now again, it's because it doesn't have a hundred other chemicals and it's not wheat for me or any sort of wheat flour. Yeah, it's like a sunflower 
um, protein and um, cassava flour. So it also depends what it's mixed with. But the short, on, short answer on that is you have to test it for yourself and see. You have to test it. But for sure, the sugar alcohols, the stevia, the erythritols, any artificial stuff, anything cane sugar, turbinado, fructose, should I say high fructose corn syrup? I mean, those are no's. Um, last but not least, I will mention it because um, fruit does have sugar, fructose. However, when you eat fruit, okay, it's got fiber with it, okay, and it's got vitamins and nutrients. So it's different eating an apple than apple juice. So I'm always a proponent of having a piece of fruit as your sugar because it comes with nutrients and vitamins. Please make sure it's organic. If you're eating apples and strawberries and berries because they are loaded with chemicals, um, but still, it's fruit, comes from God, right? And it's not some chemical from a plant, right? From some factory. So I hope that was more than helpful. It got you thinking. And look, whatever you do, just enjoy what you eat. Life is short. And I just think we should take it one day at a time and just do the best we can. So thank you for being here. And as always, I will talk to you soon.